Good morning, this is a Jubilee class locomotive in BR Green with the early emblem running number 45611 it's a Backman model 31-175 it's an old Backman model, there's no wires to the tender, I've put coal in it, put crew in it I've had it for ages but I've never done a review on it so here we go, we're going to give it a go Hope you enjoy seeing this locomotive run and thank you for watching. Here's the uh, Insufrog points test which it should be able to do. This loco has no pickups in the tender. Never dismiss these old locos, the detail on this is superb. And hopefully it will not have a problem here. If we can bring it out again, please. Nice slow speed, all in so frog points. And can you change that point and reverse it back round, please? A lot of people dismiss these old locos and I believe it's at their folly because they're cheap to buy second hand or new old stock or old stock new whatever you wish to call it. Right, here's the type 0 to radius sidings test. Radius 2 set track going through now. Radius 2 curve point, the radius 2 inner part. These are all insult frogs. And remember this has no pickups in the tender, radius 2 curve point, radius 2 curve point, radius 2 set track point and it's now going to go through a Y point into the siding. As I've said, no pickups in the tender, they're only on the driving wheels. Okay, and you want to bring it out again. So, when you hear people say insole frog points are not any good, well, let's see what's happened here. That must be a power problem. Do you want to give it a little nudge with your hand? Or dirty track, possibly. There we go. So what we're going to do is we're going to clean the track and we'll do it again. It's dirty track. Especially when it stops on a flat piece of track, but you see here. I'm going to do this in real time just to demonstrate. So you can see. I know it makes this go on a little bit longer. However, if you do it in real time, people can see. Let's give the track a clean and move this out of the way. Hence why we don't stick anything down like that. Oh, hang on, see if I've got some cleaner on it, doesn't it? Here we go. That is not the cleanest track. Okay, do you want to do it again? Bring it in. That is the only thing with these locos that have no pickups in the tender. Your track has to be a lot cleaner because obviously if it had pickups in the tender, it'd be a lot more forgiving. And you'll see now it'll go in no problem all the way, apart from it sticks on the uh, that's not sticking at all, stupid fool me. Here we go, better take it all the way in and we'll bring it all the way out. Same speed. And you'll see it's not sticking, it's just dirty track. Now if I've had pickups in the tender, the dirt on the track wouldn't have affected it. 
some people would have told you it's in some frog points, not at all. It's just because my track was dirty. That is the one thing with these older locos that you can say about them that's negative is they're less forgiving if your track isn't clean. And you can see no problemo, nice and slow, easy peasy, drive it all the way out. And I think that's pretty cool. I'm happy with that. This is not one old loco that I will be selling. Thank you. What I've done is put a fair size freight train on it with loads of box fans just to show you that it can pull a reasonable weight. You can hear the wheels slipping a little bit but it's not slowing down. And this is the widest bend on my track. If it had to be a radius I guess it would be a radius 6. As I said, they're all in some frog points, the Backman wagons and Hornby wagons here. The last two lot, green one's a Backman, the brown one is a Hornby. The North East brake van is a Backman. This is coming up the top bend on the hill now, which you'll just see. And here we are coming down the hill. I think that's a truck making that noise. I'm demonstrating slow running with this because anybody can bounce an old loco around the tr That's a three way point it's going through now. An insole frog, anybody can bounce an old loco around the track and make it look fantastic. So I'm just letting it roll. Now we're going to bring it through a radius 2 curve point onto a radius 2, worst part of my track. And you can see it's a breeze. No problem at all there. We're now putting it through two streamlined points here at the top on the inner bend and this is going into a radius 3 part of the curve point which is obviously a lot easier. As I've said we're running this really really slowly because it's so easy to make old locos look amazing tanking them around like a scale electrics car. Here we're going through another streamlined point. This bend, I would guess, radius six or seven. Nice wide flexi track. I think one part of it is a special curve. If I had the space, I'd have a, the whole of our layout with this width of curve. But slightly, we would need a lot more room. The usual scenic shot behind the semi and the detached home in the village. Notice the pink Heinkel bubble car on the right. For those that remember those, I haven't seen one for years. Thank you very much for watching. We hope you've enjoyed seeing Hong Kong, this Jubilee class locomotive, passing around our model railway. As I said, don't write these old locos off. I've got digital and I run analogue more than anything else because it's just so easy. Thank you very much for watching.